Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, we're with the fig trees. We're sitting outside with the in-ground trees, and we're gonna show you guys a technique called girdling that I think could become a permanent technique here in my arsenal of getting my fig trees to fruit every year. You know, we only have such a long season. A lot of times what happens with the in-ground trees, or even just most fruit trees in general, if they grow too much, they're too vigorous, whether that's from too much fertilizer, too much water, um, whether they got hit with the cold and they got chopped back all the way down to the base in the case of most of these fig trees here is that they want to just grow and grow. You know, that's the natural response when you prune a tree is that it likes to put out a lot of growth. So what instead to counteract that is we're going to be doing something called girdling. And girdling is just essentially taking off a ring of bark around the trunk of the tree you could do it in this, the fig trees case, there's many trunks. You could do it on one of the trunks. You could do it on all the trunks. If you do this too much, um, you could actually kill your tree. So you wanna make sure you're not taking off too much bark. You're not going too deep. You're very careful with this process. We'll show you guys that once we, um, once we do this right now. But I wanna mention a couple other things real quickly. So by taking off that bark, Essentially, all we're doing is stopping that sap flow. We're, we're lowering the sap flow from reaching higher points on the tree. You need to get that sap flow all the way up to the top to continue that growth. If we're having less sap, that means the, the growth, the vigor, is a lot lower. And because there's a lot less vigor or growth, you're actually gonna get yourself more fruit, more flowers. This is gonna be a wonderful technique for those of you guys who wanna try this. Um, on trees that just, for whatever reason, don't fruit for you. So that's the goal here is that, yeah, they're not gonna instantly fruit. This isn't like pinching where we take off the tip and then the, the tree forms fruits. This is going to act as if the tree is now gonna put out more growth that's gonna be less vigorous that I then could pinch. So this is something I think ideally we don't wanna do just right now in the season. We want to do this probably early in the season um, when our trees are kind of just getting going. So I'm going to put you guys down real quick and I want to show you guys what this technique here looks like. All right, you guys have a pretty decent view. We're going to girdle this branch right here. And what I want to mention to you guys again is that we don't want to take off too much of this bark, but Essentially the basics is that we come in here down low, we girdle this, and then it reduces that sap flow going all the way up to the top of this branch. And then the top of the branch puts out less vigorous growth that then contains those flower buds that we can then pinch off the tip, right? Because pinching off the tip will immediately reduce the oxen of the plant and send a signal to the tree, hey guys, it's time to fruit. So that's pinching 101, but that's essentially what we're trying to accomplish. And I think earlier in the season, this is gonna be key. I really do, because these trees just love to grow and grow and grow. You can see not just this shoot here, but the whole plant has put out about five or six really vigorous shoots. And even with pinching, it's not enough. I need to see those fruit buds there before I can pinch. And the only way I'm gonna get that is if we slow down this vigor. And I've tried other ways. I've tried not watering it. I didn't fertilize. We got it in a really hot spot that's supposed to be, maybe the temperatures are so hot that the thing um, doesn't grow nearly as much. So nothing seems to be really working with this particular tree. So I think my only plan of action would be earlier in the season, believe it or not, before this shoot gets too long, I wanna make sure that, oh, I'm realizing that this is gonna be really vigorous. I need to slow this down. And then I'm gonna come in here and we could take off some of these leaves. We almost fell there, guys. But I'm gonna take off some of these leaves for you guys so you can get a better view. This should be pretty decent of a view for you. But we're gonna come in here with the knife. We could even just score this. I mean, I think even just going like that might be enough. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna have to experiment with this. We've never tried this with the figs. But even just coming in here and scoring this bark, removing that bark, exposing that cambium, we are gonna get a less vigorous shoot. 
And I think that's all I really want to do with this. I don't want to go too crazy, but essentially that's all we did, is just remove some of that bark. The sap's flowing. You can see the sap's coming right out of there. We want to just lower that sap flow, again, to go all the way up to the top to lower that vigor. And what I could do is go over to other shoots now. I'm going to do the same thing. And potentially I could do this a bit different. Maybe I could do a really small ring. So let me show you guys over here. Let me see if I can get you guys a decent view of what this even looks like. This is going to be a bit tough to see, I imagine. All right, so we're doing actually this shoot right here, guys. And what I'm gonna do, it's very difficult, I think, to see, but we're gonna come down here on a lower part and we're gonna ring this. And sometimes there's tools specifically for this. If you come all the way around the bark, this is called ringing or girdling. Come all the way, look up which sap is coming out of there, by the way. And if you're doing this with figs, most fruit trees wear gloves because this sap is not good. And we're just gonna come around. We made two cuts and we're just gonna come around an entire ring around this chute. And that's it, we're taking off that exterior bark. And this should give us what we want. It's not gonna produce fruit immediately for us. I want to mention that. I just want to make that clear. There in no way is this, this tree going to fruit for us immediately. This is not pinching. Again, what this is going to do is lower that new growth, that vigor of the new growth, that's then going to contain those fruit buds that we can then come in here probably 15 to 30 days from now and pinch off the tips of these, these trees and get it to fruit. Rather than having this tree be in a state of absolute crazy vigor the entire year. That's, I've seen that many times is that even sometimes you just put a tree in the ground, you have it in a pot, regardless of where it's at, these trees just like to grow and grow and grow and they don't like to fruit. And by the end of the season, here's the other key, my Italian 258 as an example, you can see down here it was all the way up above this window here. It almost reached the top of the house, which is at least I think eight feet and we had just planted this thing last last spring and what happened was because it grew and grew and grew the fall came in our frost came in and just wiped out this tree and as a result it didn't survive the winter time it didn't do very well so we want to lower that growth we want to lower that vigor now it is going to be interesting to see what these limbs over here now that we've girdled them what that means in the winter time. Is that going to reduce hardiness? Is the hardiness going to be the same? And we'll keep an eye on that. We'll know which of these branches here that we did indeed girdle. You know, this one right here. We also girdled this guy right here. So we'll know what the deal is. Um, and I also want to mention one other thing is that we've talked about this in the video I showed you guys on all the in-ground trees, but here's a variety here called Pastelliere of fig and this guy had put out a really vigorous shoot. You can see that down in there. And what I did was, it was so vigorous, I said, all right, well, it's probably ready to, uh, to put out fruit. So I pinched it. I didn't look at the buds, or at least the buds were telling me, oh, I thought there was two different buds there. There wasn't. And then it put out all this new growth here because that's what pinching does. It not only puts out fruit, but it puts out new growth. And this new growth that it has formed is not as vigorous as what the main shoot was. And because of that, I'm actually able to come in here, it looks like, and pinch off this growth. And I can get fruit that way. This shoot right here, I pinched yesterday in that video for you guys. And also this shoot right here, that's also not as vigorous. Coming off that main shoot, we pinched as well. So really interesting techniques. And I think, again, this, may become something that I permanently do here with the fig trees. I'm, I'm interested to see what this does to the vigor and then obviously what that does to the fruit and then what that 
kind of means for the hardiness though of these trees. Because if these trees are not gonna survive anyway, which is very possible um, that a lot of these varieties that we planted this year will get killed all the way back to the base. And once that happens, you know, look at this Black Madeira KK as an example. Look at this beautiful tree. It's putting out all kinds of fruits. But this thing is just not gonna survive the winter. It's gonna get all the way shocked, all the way back to the ground. And these lower shoots are gonna have to come back from the base and they're gonna come back strong. They're gonna come back almost too strong to the point where uh, it's just not gonna fruit for me. So we need to have techniques ready and I think girdling is certainly the answer of the many techniques, thinning, pinching, less fertilizer, less water, you know, getting our trees to a position as the grower to get them into fruiting. So I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Wish me luck. We're going to certainly report back on the results of this. Again, what this means for the new growth that's going to come out of these trees. You know, also, um, you know, if they're going to fruit, you know, what everything is going to, how it's all going to work out. We'll keep you guys updated. And yeah, I'll catch you all soon. Take care, guys. See you for tomorrow's video.